Hello, I'm Olena and in this video you learn when you should use a specialized search engine database for search functionality and in which cases it's better to stick to the relational database that you are already using. Let me introduce you to two guests of our show today. First one is your regular relational database and I bet you have one of those or maybe even several. Uh, it might be MySQL, Postgres, MariaDB, or any other. The choice is wide. Take Postgres, for example. It is a Swiss army knife in the world of databases, providing a wide range of features and capabilities for storing, organizing, and querying data. Not to mention various plugins, extensions, and third-party tools to customize it for your particular use case and domain. And as you might know already, relational databases, such as Postgres, store data in tables. Now, the second guest that joins us today is a specialized non-relational database, a search engine database that is optimized for search across really large volumes of data. It's quite flexible about data structures and totally happy to work with semi-structured or unstructured data. That's why it normally doesn't store data in tables. Instead, it keeps the data in documents, such as JSON objects. Some examples of uh, such databases are OpenSearch, Elasticsearch, Apache Solar, which are all actually based on Lucene. And Apache Lucene itself is a full text search library that was initially released back in 1999, still considered a golden standard for full text search, proven by more than two decades of time. So, like everything in life, both relational and search engine databases have their pros and cons. And because most of the generalized databases include support for search, it's not always a clear-cut decision if you need a search engine database or the relational database that you already have is enough for your needs. To help you make the choice, let's look at when you should select one solution over the other. And first, the relational database. Our big friend that can do multiple things well, including search, even if it's not specifically optimized for it. Yet, it still can be a very valid option in case if you do not require complex search. And by this, I mean that your set of data is modest in size. The data is, uh, you store in the table is well structured. Your search is limited to keywords. You don't need to search in blocks of text. And most importantly, the relevance of the results isn't important to the end user. For example, imagine we have a table in a database where we collect information about patients in a hospital. You have information on their names, dates of arrival, symptoms, allergies, addresses of living, contact details, and so on. Your relational database search functionality will be most probably completely sufficient to find patients by their name or date of birth. Also, you can find all patients who have certain symptoms and are not yet dispatched or any other simple combinations. Based on this case, we don't expect a complex full text search. Searching by keys is sufficient. There are no complex structures such as JSON or XML. All data is short and concise and doesn't need pre-processing to be effectively searched. And the speed of search will be quite okay if the most common search patterns are across a small number of fields and ideally there are no joins across multiple tables because that will make your search somewhat slower. 
Another important aspect that plays into the hands of relational database in this scenario is that the data in this table will be most probably often modified. Here, for instance, information on the patient's symptoms and their current condition needs to be updated on a regular basis. You might need also to be able to search in the data as soon as it is stored in the database, requiring the data storage to be ACID compliant, which is the advantage of our relational database over the search engine one. If all of this describes your scenario, you have pretty strong arguments to stay with your relational database. But if not, let's move on and look at the search engine database. When should you use a specialized database for search? Search engine databases are significantly more powerful at full text search. Not only they are faster at searching, but also they return better results because they take numerous things into account when analyzing data. For example, normalizations, stemming, synonyms, weighting. Secondly, the search engine databases are not limited to just table structure. Open search and elastic search, for instance, will rely on JSON objects containing data of different types. You can also have nested objects there and so on. Let's look at this example. Here we are dealing with different breeds of cats. You have such information uh, in JSON format and it includes various properties. Everything that you might want to know about the breed of cat before adopting a kitty. First difference is when we add this data to search engine database, such as open search, for example, we don't have to even specify what properties we have in the data. Open search will use dynamic mapping, identifying the fields and selecting best types based on the data content. Of course, you can and you often want to explicitly specify the data schema to optimize the system, but if you opt to keep it simple or just discover the data, open search will do the mapping for you. To see the second big difference, let's look closer at the property description. This is a paragraph of text. When using a relational database, you probably will need to rely on some kind of regex to search for information within this full text block. But that won't you get too far, as you can imagine, it will be quite difficult to describe all possible options using a regex expression. For instance, here you can notice information that CME's cats have distinctive coloring. But what if, when I am searching for data, I will type cat with unique colors? Means the same, but writing a regex that would cover this alternative would be quite inefficient and won't be able to predict all possible uh, relevant uh, search query. So what will a search engine do? It will add an additional step and analyze and preprocess each document optimizing information for fast search. First of all, it will take care of normalizations. Some words can mean the same, but be spelled differently. This includes British versus American English, or even the words in German, which can be written slightly different, replacing some complex characters with combination of characters. Next is stemming. Stemming is the process of reducing a word to its stem or its core. For example, coloring can be reduced to color. Apart from normalization and stemming, we want to be able to take care of synonyms. Examples are for distinctive, it can be unique, for intelligent, it can be clever, and so on. And finally, we want to rank the results and provide the user with the most relevant options. For this, we use a weighting mechanism that will check how often a term is used in the document, how long is the document, and using this and other factors, it will calculate how good this suggestion is. 
In addition to the clever full text search, a search engine is also significantly faster if you search across multiple fields. It will also adjust search strategy for different data types. With all of that, you might be wondering if you can use your search engine database as the main database. And in some cases it is possible. However, I would rather discourage it since a search engine database is not ACID compliant and only offers eventual consistency. And also these types of databases are slower at deleting and modifying data than a relational databases. So it might be not the best fit. However, a way more common scenario of effective usage is to combine search engine database with a relational database in your system. This will allow to offload the computational power that is needed for search and aggregations, removing types of operations that can potentially make the relational database slower. For example, when your user is trying to do a simple profile update, you don't want them to wait just because your analysts decided to run some complex search queries. This is why it is common to use both a relational database and search engine database in tandem rather than having to choose between the two. This approach allows your system to efficiently store, update and retrieve data while also swiftly process large amounts of data for searching and aggregating purposes. I hope now you can make a better informed decision which database to use when you are adding search functionality to your system. This is Olena. Thank you for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave the comments what other topics you want me to cover.